For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different from most. Typically, this channel focuses on a lot of reviews of empty products and favorites of the month and gift sets that are good, and we have a bunch of gift guides coming up. But instead of me telling you about things that I've bought and loved, this video is entirely focused on things that we've stopped buying. Now, the reasons we've stopped buying most of this stuff varies. A lot of times, we're doing our best to eliminate as much waste as possible, and so that has influenced a lot of our buying decisions. But a couple of other things have or just straight preferences or things that we used to use that we realize don't really serve a purpose in our lives anymore. So the first thing that I wanted to mention was plastic bags. And this is not a super duper creative fix for this, but if you were curious about these stasher bags, this is what we have completely replaced all disposable plastic bags with. And I know that these have been around for a really long time, but I'm here to tell you that we have tried a million different versions of the off-brand kinds of these, and they were a different material. They weren't fully silicone like the stasher bags were, and they just don't add up. These are so easy to use and to take care of. You can just slap these in the dishwasher on the top rack and they get completely clean. And we have them in a variety of sizes because I actually asked for these for Christmas last year. So we have probably four-ish of this little snack size. And then we have two of these medium size bags. And as you can see, we have Parmesan cheese in it right now. And these medium sizes are really good for storage of everyday items. But then we also have this massive one. This size is also really good for storing Nash's dog food if he's gonna go stay with my parents for like a week or something if we're traveling. Or this can even hold things like soups or leftovers or pastas or anything like that because these do have such a tight seal that they're actually leak proof. So we truly have not wanted or missed traditional plastic bags since we got these. Granted, it is some more dishes. You just kind of have to weigh what's important to you and if that is like an area of your life where you want to eliminate waste. But for us, we have just found so much value and so much use in these stasher bags. Use them every single day. Another very specific kind of beauty related thing that I've stopped buying is any sort of deep conditioning hair mask. I truly feel, one, my hair gets super greasy if I use overly moisturizing things. So you're never gonna find me purchasing a shampoo or a conditioner ever that's like ultra moisturizing because that's just not what my hair needs. And I felt like I was super influenced by YouTube to buy like deep conditioning masks to use once a week and I never noticed a big difference in my hair. I don't use a ton of heat tools on it. I don't color my hair. I don't do enough to it to warrant buying deep conditioning masks and even using them occasionally. But I feel like conditioner does the job for me and so I have completely written off all sort of deep conditioning masks. And we'll just stick with the same category. So still speaking of beauty things, I also have completely stopped buying makeup wipes or any sort of makeup remover. Because once I started this like double cleansing system where I use kind of like an oil-based cleanser first and then my regular cleanser afterwards, I really have not had a need for makeup wipes or any sort of makeup remover either. Now, do I still have some in my house? Yes, absolutely, because Costco, one time years ago, they actually are kind of expired and I should probably throw them away. I have so many makeup wipes left over from this big vacuum value Costco pack that I just feel like I have to use up. I mentioned this before, the only time that I truly use makeup wipes is right before I exercise, just to get the makeup off so that when I'm like, I don't know, using my little sweat towel, I don't have makeup all over it, but I haven't felt the need to repurchase. I definitely won't repurchase. I use them so sparingly. We kind of touched on this a little bit, eliminating waste. That's just a really easy way to eliminate waste for me because I'm just using them because I have them, not because I need them, if that makes any sense. Another thing I've completely stopped buying or wanting or even looking at are eyeshadow palettes. I remember when I first went down the makeup YouTube rabbit hole and I felt like I needed every popular eyeshadow palette on the market. Now, I didn't pull the trigger on all of them because I'm like frugal Fran and I really just can't bring myself to spend 50, $60 on an eyeshadow palette, but as I've kind of like eaten eased away from the beauty area of YouTube and stopped consuming it as much and seeing all the new launches. And as I just kind of observed my normal habits, I realized I was using like one to two shades in an eyeshadow palette and it was never worth it. And also another thing is that Brian and I love to travel. 
And I found traveling with big makeup palettes really bulky and cumbersome and it just wasn't really doing the job. So things that I've preferred and find myself using all the time are like single eyeshadows. So I really love the Maybelline color tattoos in case you're curious. Or even the little e.l.f. bite size palettes. It comes with like four shades. You know that you're going to get use out of those four shades. And so it's just so much more worth your money. Plus it's less expensive. And because you're not buying that huge palette, like you're definitely going to use it up. You're definitely going to go through it. I'm glad that I finally had that realization and stopped letting marketing get the best of me. Now that I've decluttered things and cleaned things out and makeup palettes that were like five and six years Years old it just feels nice to have only what I'm actually going to use the last thing in this kind of beauty category is I've also stopped buying face masks I feel like since I've unsubscribed from most of the subscription boxes that I used to get face masks would come in that all the time and so I'm still kind of working through those but truthfully like sheet masks are a little bit wasteful and really the only thing that I was noticing in my skin was a little bit of extra moisture and as long as you're good about putting your moisturizer on I don't really see the need for that like you may want that and have that experience and if that's you awesome keep doing it but for me that was just something that I didn't really need anymore along the same lines I've also stopped buying the face masks that you actually kind of rub all over your face and then have to wash off with water I stopped buying those a long time ago because I just hated doing that I hated washing my face and then having to wash my face again to get the mask off and I just never really felt like huge effects from them so that was an easy thing to say no to moving on from the beauty category another Another product that we've replaced disposable hand soaps with are these refillable hand soaps. Now I got this little dispenser at Target and these are all over our house. So we're not continually buying the little bottles of hand soap that you then have to, I don't know, recycle or wash out or throw away, whatever you typically do. Instead, we have these reusable hand soaps, which I personally just think look nice and they obviously match your decor. You don't have to worry about like a label that doesn't match. And then we buy the big refillable hand soaps. So we like the Mrs. Myers hand soaps the most and I think right now I have rain or rainwater, whatever it is in here. But I'm also a really big fan of Peony and Honeysuckle Mum and their Snowflake scent at winter time. We just find that these look really nice, get compliments on them all the time. They're just kind of like a little oil can design and it just makes us feel a little bit better because you're eliminating tons of little bottles of plastic that you're throwing away all the time. All right, this one is oddly specific. We cook all the time. Like I love to cook. I am typically cooking like five days a week. I like to bake too. Because of that, we have a ton of seasonings. And so if a recipe ever calls for like a pack of taco seasoning or Italian seasoning or any sort of blend like that, I typically forego that and just make my own. There are a million different recipes piece on the internet and I just feel like it's a lot more cost effective and it allows you to go through your spices quicker while they're still good and you're not letting them expire. Dried spices last for a really long time and that's kind of point, but the quicker you use your spices, the more flavorful and impactful they'll actually be in your cooking. And so I find that making my own blends is an easier thing to do that helps me use up what I already have and spend less money. But also you can avoid having any additional preservatives or fillers or additives in those packs of taco seasoning. I encourage you the next time you're in the grocery store, like flip over the back and read the ingredients and you're gonna see so many more additives and preservatives. So this is just another way to eat healthier and use up what you already have so it's much more cost effective in the end. The next one is a little bit shocking because I used to be the biggest Keurig advocate. I always had a massive box of K-Cups from Costco and I loved the coffee that came out of it. But ever since I married Brian, he's kind of ruined me because he's kind of a snooty coffee drinker. And so he brought to the table his fancy coffee grinder, just kind of introduced me to, I guess, more elevated coffee. A good byproduct of that is that we no longer buy a ton of disposable K-Cups because I was using, you know, two and three a day sometimes. And that's just contributing a ton of waste to the environment. Instead of buying K-Cups, we now use regular coffee from like bags of coffee, but we also use whole beans specifically so that we can use Brian's grinder that's very fancy. I find too that grinding your own coffee helps make it be fresher 
longer because you're not like exposing the ground coffee to the air. It's not losing its potency and it just makes for a richer cup of coffee. A couple of my favorites here in case you were curious, I wanted to grab for you. One is this Merit coffee, specifically their house blend. It's also known as the conductor blend. And I believe that this is made in San Antonio, if I'm not mistaken. And I live in Dallas in case you didn't know that. So it's local to me. I'm able to get it at Whole Foods, but keep an eye out if you've never had this before. It's really delicious. I'm like a straight up medium blend person. I don't love a super dark roast and I think light roast coffee is a little bit too watery. Another favorite is actually one from New Orleans and this is the French truck coffee and I specifically like the red packaging. It's called Le Grand. This coffee is just a really good, again, very potent, flavorful, medium roast. Another thing I've really flipped on are books. Now I had this dream when I was little that I was going to be Belle and you know when she walks into like the big library of the Beast House and she's looking around and she's like totally in in awe. I wanted that room in my house when I was little. Times have changed a little bit and again on our quest to kind of eliminate waste, I have completely stopped buying hard copy books. I have a Kindle, I love it. I feel like I can use my Libby app and just get books from the library that way. I can also go get physical book copies from the library. It's completely free. It's saving me a ton of money and then we're not just having a ton of books sitting around our house. We don't have a ton of storage in our house to begin with and the odds of me rereading a book are really slim. While I still wish for a great library one day, it's just not in the cards for us right now and that has been a really easy way to save money and give me a ton of free internet entertainment because I'm an avid reader, like read a book a week almost. And believe me, I know that is controversial. So if you are a physical book reader, by all means, keep doing you, but it, they just won't fit in our house. Gosh, I know I've mentioned this a time or two, but I haven't put it specifically in a video about things that I don't buy, but that's shaving cream. And I guess I probably should have mentioned this in like the beauty category, but I find that conditioner works completely fine and a bar of soap. And if you run out of conditioner, your shampoo works well too. I don't have sensitive skin, so I do have to throw that out there. I know that my old roommate used to have really sensitive skin and she couldn't do that, but try conditioner if you're somebody that thinks that you are just beholden to shaving cream. I guarantee you that's one less thing that you'll have to buy at the store. And you know how when you buy shampoo and conditioner and you end up running out of your shampoo much quicker than your conditioner? It's another way to help you kind of run out of those things at the same time so that you're not like off and using mismatched shampoo and conditioner, which makes no difference, just in case you were looking for a way to run out at the same time. Right now, I'm using an ultra moisturizing shampoo that was sent to me that I can't use as shampoo, and it's been working great as shaving cream. So if you're looking for a way to have some multi-use products in your shower, save on shaving cream, don't buy it. And similarly, I used to be a disposable razor fan. I'm talking like the $2 packs of 20 disposable razors. I didn't care if there were two blades, four blades, five blades. I'm just not a picky person when it comes to shaving. However, ever since I've been introduced to Billy, that razor company, I have been an avid Billy user. And instead of throwing away an entire razor like every couple of weeks, I now just am replacing that razor head. So by doing that, I'm actually saving money and and I think producing less waste because the blades on the Billy razor don't go dull as quickly. So I'm not throwing away those razor heads as routinely as I was the cheap disposable razors. Additionally, you're just throwing away a razor head versus an entire razor. And I'm getting a much more high quality razor and razor blades and you know ultimately a better shave with my Billy razor than my disposable razor. So all in all, it's been a big win. That is everything. Hopefully you enjoyed something a little different. Me not trying to get you to buy a bunch of different things because truthfully, in my life, I look for ways to save and look for ways to be less wasteful all the time. And I just feel like these videos are a good change that I wanna see in my channel of giving you great tips, encouraging you to think differently, to buy less, to spend more mindfully. And if you did like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.